Okay, today we're gonna to talk about a really important aspect of rodent control, one of the unsung heroes of catching rats, and that is the glue board. Now, almost every single time I go to a customer's house who's tried to get rid of rats on their own, there's a bunch of glue boards strewn around their attic, around their house, and in frustration when I show up, they look at the glue boards that haven't caught anything, and they say, oh, those don't work. Well, it's not that glue boards don't work, it's just they don't work unless you do them properly. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of placing glue boards properly. Now, before you can know exactly how to set a glue board properly, you have to know you're using the right type of glue board. In fact, there's actually two. Not all glue boards are created the same. There's unscented glue boards and scented glue boards. You use unscented glue boards to catch rats because rats are neophobic. They're afraid of new things, new smells, new objects in their path. So you want to use unscented glue boards that they can't sense from really far away. Mice, on the other hand, are inquisitive. So in those cases where you're going after mice, you wanna make sure that you use scented glue boards. Now, if you have a mouse infestation, you know, life's gonna be pretty easy in terms of glue boarding. All you gotta do is buy some peanut butter scented glue boards, make sure they're strongly scented. You can lay them around where you see the feces or the urine trails, and pretty much the mice are gonna come out of the woodwork, find the glue board, get stuck and die on the glue board. Then you just dispose of the glue board. It's pretty easy breezy without that much nuance. Rats, on the other hand, are a completely different story. Rats need to stumble upon a glue board in order to get trapped on that glue board. So you have to make sure you are putting them in the places where they're most likely to succeed. And the places where they're most likely to succeed are completely based on science and common sense. If rats are blind and they're trying to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible by feeling their way using their whiskers against the side of a baseboard, what is the most effective place to put that glue board? You're gonna to wanna to put it, not perpendicular and not away from the baseboard, but actually up against, parallel with that baseboard, so the scurrying rat will get trapped on it as it runs from point A to point B. And if it's running from point A to point B, do you wanna put it closer to point A in the corner? or closer to point B in the other corner? No, you actually wanna put it right in the middle in between those two points because that's where they're gonna be at a full sprint when they're gonna be moving the fastest and they're most likely to stumble onto that glue board. Now, just to show you that this theory actually works when put into practice, I just got a call from a really cool Filipino customer who's had rats coming out at night to eat the fruit out of their fruit basket. So I'm gonna put down some glue boards on the baseboards below the fruit basket and next to the wall that the rat would have to go against to get to that fruit basket. And we're gonna leave them overnight and come back the next day and see just what happened. Boom, got him.